What's up, everybody? Mystery Monster here, and we're back with another episode of Splatoon 2 Walkthrough. And as you saw right there, I just upgraded my ink tank to carry more ammo for me during the matches. I don't have to reload as often, hopefully. That was the game plan. That was the thought process, anyway. Uh, we're going to go ahead and head over to the second island where we're at and take on the boss. So the second island boss, as you'll see here, is actually a... We're gonna switch over to the duel for the boss, thinking that we had actually had a choice, you know what I mean? But the game has other plans for us. We are uh, gonna try and take our duels in here, and as soon as you see we get in here, they're actually gonna switch our weapon over to something I'm not really used to playing with, which is the roller here. I'm not I'm not used to, used to playing with this roller. I see some people online that do really well with it actually. Uh, this hasn't been really my cup of tea. I like the uh, the duels because I can roll around and whatnot. But, um, you see here, it's the same kind of intro scene where, uh, the zappy fish gets sucked into the ink, and then we see the boss come out. So, instead of the octo oven, this time, we have a suspense builder, suspense builder, pause, wait for it, look at this dude, he's badass right now, right? And then you see that he's on a little tricycle, a little, uh, little, little uh, cycle, and it's this <laughs> octo samurai. Who rides around on a damn cycle? So um, we're here trying to figure out how to use this. I use this damn roller again, right? Because we never use this thing. And we're trying to figure out how we're gonna be able to take this guy on with a weapon we're not even familiar with using. So I gotta get in my ink, and then we just get freaking ran over right there. And I'm like, oh shit! Almost lost my life already. You guys will see. I um. I struggle for most of this so I figure out kind of what I need to do and um, I figured out oh, I guess I didn't figure it out yet but you'll see here that I figure out how to make a straight line that goes farther instead of a wide splash instead of just like a wide splash zone I can kind of splash wide uh, yeah, make a vertical line, splash further and this dude got some paint on this in my paint box so I'm doing alright so far and we're, we're learning here, trying to, so my game plan, my game plan for this entire, look, there it is, I finally figured out, jump and throw, jump and do like the two buttons, that's how you make a straight line, that's how you fuck these fools up right here, but uh, you guys will see here that um, I learned that the best way to versus do, yeah I died on the first try there, but the best way, I come straight back and figured out the best way to take him on. So the best way to take this guy on is to go ahead and swim around and make a giant circle basically with your, um, with your ink. So you make this giant circle like this with your ink. And then you have a way to swim around the map nice and quick and easy to avoid him. And then when he starts to like... When after he does his little um, motorcycle thing where he runs, he tries to ram into you like that, he hops on it. That after like that, you'll see. I, uh, well, I guess I didn't figure it out yet. But you'll see. I figure out that he crashes into the wall, and then you have a few moments to hit him actually. But uh, I end up just. I think this first round, I just take him out just really nilly like this, not even ignoring knowingly uh, participating in the game's actual functions. There it is. See, he's like stuck. I'm just sitting here just throwing ink at his ass. Making him nice and blue blue colors. And he just pops to the other side of the map like, what? This big fat ass on, a, on his little really looking like a circus bear ass mofo. Just hopped over to the other side. Just hopped over to the other side. No big deal. No big whoop. One trained ass bear, right? As long as in a circus where he's going. And then he crashes again, and we're gonna come over here. And we're gonna take advantage of that, and we're just gonna paint him up some more. So we have a colored bear that we wanna see. We don't wanna see no ugly ass octopus bear. We want a nice turquoise looking sea bear. Sea bear. Sea bear. Alright, so. It's a lot of them. Um, Repetition. A lot of the same shit going on here. So I'm gonna talk about other stuff. We actually um, just hit a C plus rank in rank battles. So if you guys haven't checked that out, we're uh, we're getting further and further there, getting better at the clan blitz game and whatnot. There's multiple different games to play you can use on that game. 
We're also, I've been struggling to bring you guys some good Pokemon gameplay with different teams and whatnot. So, I gotta hop back in that. I've been, uh, been kind of just doing what I can these past few days. These, these videos are a little easier to do than the, uh, the Pokemon ones. There's a lot less effort into trying to build the team and get everyone ready. But, uh, on the Splatoon side, we've done pretty good about buying a new item every time. And I haven't shown you guys yet, but I actually bought two new guns that I'm going to show you guys, do my little trial run, tell you what I think of them. Uh, you guys already know I'm a, I'm a Dooley's fan. I try, I try and keep my Desperado going. And I think my main reason for liking the Dooley so much is the, um, the ability to roll around as you're shooting. You can just, just totally roll around and dodge enemies, dodge fire, and get around the map. Although, this is Rolly right here. When you learn how to like jump up and splat him like that, it actually does quite well, so I don't know. Maybe I'll have to give it a second try here now that I've learned a little, a little trick of the trade there. But uh, overall, we will be going through all the guns at some point and uh, giving you guys little reviews, trying to find out which clothing items are the best and whatnot. Uh, so far, we see here the trying to upgrade this little boy. It, it, it don't make a big difference. Just keep with the same thing. The only sad part is you have to redo your entire ink circle here. But uh, you keep with the same thing. Just make your ink circle and then just splash them and you get a chance. And you'll get the W. I believe it. Just, just follow this. Just make your circle and then just hit him when he crashes. You'll be good to go. But uh, yeah. We have been looking for a better hat. A better headwear, headgear to use. For our Splatoon online gameplay, we have the headphones that give our dualies some more damage. And if you guys, I always say that they give my dualies some more damage, but they actually always give your main weapon more damage. So no matter what main weapon you're using, you're gonna get more damage if you're using that item. Uh, personally, I like the dualies just because I like them, but. If you find a weapon with low damage, you get all things with high damage. You have like a low, low weapon damage, but it has like high accuracy, high range. It might be something to look into, you know, just getting something to power them up a little bit. We uh, found some boots that power us up. We have, as you guys can see, they give you, each item has a uh, maximum of four unlocks. So you want to try and find something that has four unlocks that are all useful unlocks to you, not just some random shit. So my first goal is to get all my clothing items to have four unlocks because some of them only have like two and one. The headphones I wear only have two on them. And I think everything else I have has four. I just the new shoes I have have four. I just haven't unlocked all the four yet. So we'll see if there's a that's another thing, they give you question marks over what the um, power-ups are, so you gotta earn them and then find out, which is totally cool, you know, uh, I don't mind, it's not that hard to, to level up your stuff there, so we're gonna definitely keep leveling up those boots, see if there's something we can use, if not, we will go back to the shop and look for more boots that are, you know, suited to what we're looking for and so on and so forth with the process until we find the right clothing to match. Now I honestly think that you're going to want to wear different clothes with your different guns. So it's like having different classes of Call of Duty, you know? Different guns, different uh, perks, different attachments, stuff like that. And that's another thing is um, sometimes you guys will see that I use different types of dualies. So they're all dualies, but some of them are different. Like. I have dualies that are actually like long range, so they're for uh, enemies that are really far away, but they have less damage. And then I have ones that have a jetpack, and ones that have a grenade and a bomb, so they're all different. You gotta find what suits you, and then uh, hit me up so we can uh, get together and destroy some people on some online ranked play and get it going. So, we finally here, and we took out this dude for the second time. And this is the uh, third and final time we have to take him out. This is going tell us it's our final checkpoint here. This dude's got, look at this thing, he like revs it up a little bit, puts an engine in it, trying to get all intense on me. Final checkpoint, we just gotta take him out one more time, we're good to go. 
So we're definitely gonna try and do that. You can see here he's uh he's definitely stepped his game up a little bit. So this is probably gonna be the hardest of the uh, matches that he's gonna give us. This is only the second boss though, so this is this is not that bad. You really just gotta find the um, what's it called the the pattern in their attack, and you be solid. But as you can see here, I got a really solid circle going on in the beginning. And that circle is what saves me. You hop in the ink and you swim. You swim pretty quick. And you see on this last one here, he's actually able to go twice on it. Not just once, but he's able to go twice before crashing into the wall. So that's noted. You know, put that in his little pattern book to figuring this guy out. Um, yeah, and then he just kind of creeps behind you trying to get you. And this guy just, you know, as she said that, he just doesn't want to quit. He just doesn't want to take his loss. Which, you know, we're not going to use an option to give him his loss either way. Look at it. It's just a matter of time. And I'm just establishing my circle in case I ever need to run away from this guy. And he's throwing, look at those things, man. Those are, those are dangerous looking hits he's throwing out there. I'm just going to swim up and just ink him up a little bit. Hit him and go. A little jab. It's like boxing almost, you know, you just like hit him with your jab real quick and then back out, come back in, hit him with your jab. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, there he is, trying to get in front of me. And, uh, this, this thing just does not have a lot of range on it. I mean, you have to jump and you have to hit that right in order to get any range on this thing at all. And even then, I mean, honestly, that's what makes this thing, that's what keeps this thing competitive. If you could not jump and throw with this thing, it would be a hard competitive weapon. But since you can, it's actually a very viable uh, weapon that you could use in online gameplay. And I definitely, uh, if I can master it, would be proud to use it. But it's cool. Uh, it's uh, not bad. As you see, even though we upgraded our ink tank, we still have to, still have to hop in this ink a little. Uh, well, actually, we didn't have to hop in it too much because we're. Uh, rolling around most of the time here and he's coming at us full speed there we just gotta keep dodging this guy hitting him till this uh, little circus bear goes down come on come on look at him he's like all on green already just just die just just end it you know what i mean just just take your loss and i'm pretty sure we actually end this dude with a with a bomb here fire my breath yeah, uh, on these videos, I talk through them instead of telling you guys, instead of doing like the live, because it's just easier to describe what's going on in the gameplay. Because when I'm actually playing it, I'm learning as I'm doing it. I'm not exactly sure how to do it or what I need to do until I uh, get a little groove, a little movement for it. So it's all good. Uh, but uh, definitely keep that circle going, guys. That is that is a life saving. Look at this circle. I'm just swimming in my circle right here. This guy is a big circus bear, painted in green, probably all dry paint, so he's probably like stuck with him. He's like inching towards him. He's not even riding that cycle. He's just inching. He's got to hop it a little bit. And you can see I got him with the bomb. I don't know if you guys saw me throw that bomb or not. But snuck it underneath his chair and he blew up. And that's that's basically the end of it. We're just going to see the little animation for uh, what happens here. You can see his little soul hopping around on top of it. Looks like a little motorcycle thing almost, and it explodes, and then boom, chicka pow, everything's green, we get a ton of, ton of, um, Dragon Balls, we get ready to summon Shinron, and look at that, we caught Shinron, a little zappy fish. <laughs> Alright, so that was it for the, um, second boss level here, and, uh, then we get some talking from, uh, Marie, you know, the person, and then we get a little, a little, uh, little surprise visit talk there and uh, she thinks it's just random static and we need new batteries but I think it's uh I think it's a little clue for what's going on later in the game but as you can see here we cause a little power surge and we can actually uh escape onto the third island now so next time you see me on the gameplay we'll be on island three so you guys are